Hi, my name is Lou and I'm currently on a weight loss journey. It's been almost a month since I posted my last vlog, so I am sorry about that. There's not really any good excuses, but we have been super busy. We've been doing a ton of yard work and remodeling our kitchen and stuff like that. We're having a housewarming party in a couple of weeks, so we've been trying to prepare for that a little bit. And I just got kind of sidetracked in my last video. I think I was at 10 pounds lost and I'm currently 15 pounds down um, for the past two weeks. I've just been maintaining that. I got a little sidetracked with my eating and just not really staying in that much of a calorie deficit and going out to eat a little bit more. I have one more week and I think like two days, a week and two days until I hit the two month mark for trying to lose weight and I want to lose five more pounds by then so we'll see if I can do it. I'm home on my lunch break from work so let's go make my lunch. It's the next morning and I'm getting ready for work currently. I just wanted to talk a little bit because how I was eating in my previous vlogs is pretty different from how I'm eating now. It's been trial and error and I feel like it's that way for most people when they start a weight loss journey. Like yes, they can do all the research they want and have a game plan but when it comes down to it not everything works the same for people we all have different bodies and what i was doing was just not working i was eating low calorie i was eating 1200 calories a day and i was tracking it religiously like there's no way i was off at all I was weighing everything, I was taking into account oils, sauces, I always see people say like, you might think you're eating 1200 but you're actually not, you're actually eating this much, but no, I was counting correctly and I was hitting my protein goal, I was having over 100 grams of protein a day, but I'm vegetarian and most of that protein was coming from dairy products, like whey protein and cottage cheese yogurt and yeah that's where like most of the protein was coming from once I lost 10 pounds with doing that after that I wasn't losing any weight and it was like two weeks for two or three weeks I was like it doesn't seem normal to be hitting a plateau already so early on so I don't know I just knew that something was not working and so I was doing more research and I came to the conclusion, and I'm not sure I really want to talk about like why I came to this conclusion. I decided to try to be dairy and gluten free. 
and that's pretty hard to do so it's not like perfect but it's definitely way less than what I was eating before I'm still trying to figure out like recipes and stuff that I can make while doing that and I was also trying to be like low carb and so like all three of those things together is really hard because I'm pretty picky so I don't like a lot of vegetables I've just always been really picky with food so I've been eating a lot of protein shakes with some plant-based gluten-free protein and sandwiches and stuff which I'm using keto bread so that has gluten in it still but I'm trying to find like a gluten-free bread that's not too high in carbs and is also <laughs> dairy free like I said I'm not being perfect with this so if I have the keto bread and I'm still losing weight then it's gonna be like fine like I'm not just gonna completely cut out all of that but it is significantly less than what I was doing before and that was working I lost five pounds pretty quickly and then I kind of veered off of it for two weeks like I said when I was like eating out more and yeah I was just kind of I was just maintaining my weight at that point but I just really think that that's gonna work for me and that's what I'm going to <laughs> try to do for a while you know I can always change it if I find it's not sustainable or it's not working like that's just the hardest part gotta find what works for you and whatever is sustainable and that takes a lot of trial and error we're not gonna get it perfect right off the bat yeah so I just wanted to kind of talk about that a little bit and why I have changed what I was eating before and being vegetarian isn't like a dietary choice I know that it can be better for you to not eat meat I've seen like the documentaries and like stuff like that but my reasons for not eating meat is mostly for ethical and moral reasons and just because I love animals so much so that's kind of that's my reasoning it's not for a diet or anything like that so I'm just getting ready for work it's pretty gloomy outside mm, my husband and I haven't really gone on many walks lately that's what we usually do but we've been so exhausted we were really wore out from um, painting our kitchen cabinets all weekend he works pretty early in the mornings he's up at like 3 30 and gets home around like 3 30 he gets pretty tired and then i'm tired and then we end up being lazy which and now i shouldn't make any excuses but maybe we'll um start to go on walks more again or i don't know we used to go ice skating a lot but we haven't done that in a while but we'll see i know we need to but we'll just see what the day brings going on at work so once I came home I was kind of just over it and didn't want to do a whole lot um but yeah this is the cat's tail I feel like my vlogs during the working 
week the weekdays are pretty monotonous i know it's repetitive my days just blend into one another but there's not really much i can do about it i have an accounting job i'm at work from like 8 40 to 4 30 and then when i get home from work it's I usually just want to spend time with my husband and my cats and crocheting. The way I look at it is I'm really focused on my food right now and trying to figure out all that because I've always had a problem with binging. So that's like kind of my priority. And then I'll be able to transition into different phases of weight loss like exercising more and working out. Like I'm not really doing that right now but I know it'll come. It's just right now I'm focusing on food and that's kind of my mindset i also have like four crochet orders for people that i need to finish so with working the only time that i really have to crochet is after work i did finish one of the orders though i'll get it here it is it's pretty cute i don't know how to pronounce the name of this if you know what it is then you know what it is but it's really cute so yeah i finished that i have to make another one of those I have to make a baby blanket, a bandana headscarf thing, and a baby outfit. And then I'm also working on a project for myself, which is dragonfly curtains. So there's my little update and where my head's at. And I'll see you guys at lunch. I felt like having breakfast food, so I'm having a boiled egg and two pieces of veggie bacon and two frozen waffles with some peanut butter and sugar-free syrup. So this whole thing's about 400 calories. in these three days so that's pretty good i think by the two month mark i'll hit five pounds because that's still next week sometime i hope you've enjoyed seeing these few days in my life if you're on a similar journey let me know how it's been going for you and we can help keep each other motivated and just lift each other up i'll see you guys in the next video and hopefully it won't be a month later. I think in the next video, I'll be comfortable enough to share my weight and stuff like that. So I will see you then. Bye.